Six children have died as a result of suspected food poisoning allegedly caused by snacks that they purchased and consumed at a local spaza shop in Naledi in Soweto. Now this follows deaths that occurred under similar circumstances last year where young children got food poisoning after consuming biscuits also purchased at a local sponsor shop in the same area. Hi, it's Rumelang. A very good evening. My name is Tabo Mulukwane. Welcome to this edition of Soweto Today. Tonight on Soweto Today, we take a look at the recurring incident of food poisoning related deaths of young children in the Soweto community. Now, joining us to kickstart this conversation this evening is Belinda Makafola, who is the Director of Environmental Health at the National Department of Health. She joins us via Zoom this evening to have this conversation. Mepe Linda, much appreciated for taking the time. Welcome to the show. Thank you, Tavo, and thank you for having me. Much appreciated. I mean, uh, we, we found ourselves mourning the deaths of uh, young children in Soweto once again as a result of suspected food poisoning following their consumption of those snacks that were allegedly purchased at a local spaza shop. For those who may not uh, have the full details, uh, what uh, you know have been the key issues in this particular case and why are we finding ourselves here again? Okay, Tabo, so um, for those that may not have um, any information, well, so far we have um, six children, the one that um, recently died um, yesterday morning, um, that the kids have allegedly consumed a packet of chips that were sold or they were, were bought from a rather um, a local spaza shop in the Naledi area. Um, so far, I guess um, what has been done from the side of investigation is that um, the, the uh, health inspectors um, came through to investigate the, 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 the complaint or the reported cases, uh, you know, only to find that the shop was looted. Um, you know, there couldn't be much that, you know, authorities were able to, you know, get out of that um, case because usually what happens in a suspected food uh, poisoning cases is that we need to take samples of uh, food or the suspected food um, and for analysis in the uh, in our labs just to check what could have been the contamination. So thus far, um, you know, I think I must also mention that our health goes out to the families, you know, that have lost, you know, the, their children and um, investigations are, however, continuing. There has been cases that has been opened by the SAPS um, because we are talking more than just food poisoning. Mm. And I think maybe um, to also maybe highlight the fact that you, when we talk food poisoning, we rather use the word loosely as food poisoning. And what food poisoning is, is basically, you know, um, con uh, a consumption of food that has been contaminated with either bacteria, you know, or mm. or toxins. So, and we also need to look at it at a point, of, uh, from a point of a poisoning, um, mm. you know, because of the rapidness of how the children, you know, responded and how quickly they were affected. Mama Kavola, so, um, yeah. um, you, you know, I'm, I'm listening to what you're saying, but um, I'm, I'm very much concerned because, you know, as you've alluded to the fact that uh, there's been... Uh, you know, the health inspectors did go there to, uh, you know, take samples, but unfortunately they found that uh, the store was looted. But my concern is the incident happened a few, you know, weeks ago, and then, you know, we waited for a week or and a half to go before we go and take the samples, and now we cannot take the samples because of the shop has been looted. But aside from that, um, um, you know, what are, what is it that we need to do? Actually, um, you know, uh, I'm asking this question loosely. Uh, what is it that we need to do to, you know, make sure that this does not happen again? Because we cannot be talking about the same issue every single year. No, that's true. And I think that we have to look at it from two points. For one, um, if you are a business owner and you, you operate a food handling premises, you are required by law 
to have what we call a certificate of acceptability. Mm. That is basically a health certificate that says that your premises complies, you know, with health standards. That's the one area. So, and um, secondly, on the other uh, aspect is that communities need to be vigilant mm. in terms of one, you know, um, allowing, you know, or, ch or not being aware of exactly what our children are consuming, you know, especially in terms of snacks, because uh, the law is very specific in terms of, you know, when it comes to food stuff. For, for example, what these ch children are usually consuming that we know are very popular, even some of us adults love these snacks that, uh, you know, usually what, what, what happens is that they are bought in bulk and then they are decanted into smaller nyana packages. Mm. For one, the law says if you were to sell a foodstuff, it needs to be labeled. So um, us as communities needs to look at those aspects for one. Uh, what is this product that I'm, I'm buying? Do I know the, you know, the ingredients of the, of, of, of the, the actual products that I'm buying? If it's, it's, it's a transparent package, it doesn't have any label, doesn't tell you anything about that specific product, then you know, communities need to be vigilant and, you know, looking from buying those of food stuffs. Mm. If you look at the, at the, at, at the package of food stuff, it was that they, they, it could have been tempered with, you know, it looks like, you know, it has been eaten by rats or things like that, then don't buy those type of products. If you look at products and you see that there, there isn't a best before or an expiry date on the product, do not buy that product because every product has got a shelf life. So, mm. and also I think secondly, very important to ensure that where we are purchasing our foods, because we know that spaza shops are very accessible. They are open at a convenient time. So they, they basically are, you know, uh, accessible when we need them. Ensure that there's spaza shops in your area before you purchase and you, you take your business there, ensure that they are legally operating. And they have those specific, you know, um, certificates, as I've mentioned before. So, so I think very important for the community to, to, to assist, you know, also in terms of looking and being vigilant around these things, you know. What are our kids eating? These premises that we are buying from, do they look, you know, hygienically up to standard? Are they legal? You know, what type of products? This product they are selling. Do we mm. know where they are stored from? Those kind of things we need to look at. Then I think on the side of the businesses, it's their responsibility to ensure that they comply with the law. There are those in our country that you mm -hmm. know a, a, a provides for what needs to happen when you're dealing with food stuff. So very important that you know that happens on the side of authorities. So it's very important that we, as much as you know, we we are um, you know we are constrained when it comes to capacities. What I mean by that is that the number of EHP, so the number of inspectors that are there employed by our government, you know, versus the, the population that we are looking at, there is, there is a dischancha because the numbers that are there are very few be able to be proactive, mm. you know, Mama, as a service. You know, to yeah. our authorities, you know, continuous monitoring, it's very mm. important. You know, we need to ensure that we protect our public, we do this you know, regular inspections and, you mm. know, ensure that whatever food is being sold to the public is fit for human consumption. Mama Kafola, um, unfortunately, we ran out of time, but I'm glad that you mentioned the issue of inspectors because I was about to ask you the very same question. Why are we not having, uh, you know, enough inspectors uh, looking at uh, the, uh, you know, the communities that they serve? As you're saying that, look, vis-a-vis, uh, -vis the population, um, you know, you are not capacitated enough as a department there. But we're going to leave it there for now. Mebelinda uh, Makafula, uh, there, the Director of Environmental Health at the National Health Department, speaking to us more about food safety measures in light of the recent deaths of six young children as a result of suspected food poisoning. Let's take a quick ad break. We're coming back after this. Welcome back. You're still watching Soweto Today. Much appreciated for joining us this evening. Now, before the ad break, we started the conversation on food safety. 
and spaza shops following the deaths of young children in the lady community who are suspected of having gotten food poisoning after consuming snacks that were allegedly uh, purchased at a local spaza shop let's continue this conversation by bringing in uh, one of the community leaders there that uh, miss mongile mpanza to join this conversation this evening her mom's mongile much appreciated for joining us uh, you know we meet um, under not normal circumstances uh, you were here last year uh, when we spoke about the issue of food poisoning in your community. Let me just get your reaction first, uh, you know, to the, this current incident and also what is the overall sentiment, your community as a whole? The community is disappointed mm. that we have to go back to the same route as last year. And the community feel helpless mm. and left to opt for their own way of dealing with this. Mm. which cannot be a good way, but they are helpless. What do you make of uh, the Department of Health? I mean, we spoke to them, they're saying that we don't have enough, uh, you know, inspectors. That's basically what they said. We don't have uh, enough inspectors to come and monitor all these spaza shops, talking about the ratio of inspectors vis-a-vis -vis, uh, the population, uh, yeah, the various communities. Um, as community, um, how do you guys feel about this? Because, I mean, we, you know, we more like repeating ourselves. Because, you know, last year you said that, look, we do not want these people. They must leave because they are not actually doing the right things in this community. Uh, is it still the same since the Lenehana Yalwes community? We don't want them. The first thing is the legality and the illegality of the businesses and the legality of the operators of those, of, of those businesses. Those need to be questioned. Mm. And also the question of the Department of Health saying they are short-staffed. From last year, I think it's a whole year now, we have so many young people that are not working. They have not done anything, lifted and figure, of trying to fix that problem of being short-staffed mm. to deal with this issue because now we're dealing with three things here. The legality of the businesses, the, 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 the legality of the, of the people that are operating those jobs. So now we, are, we feel as the community invaded and these people are enabled by the people who are supposed to protect mm. the community from. Because as far as I see, we are seeing the same tune as last year and nothing has changed. What do you think is the problem? Uh, is it, uh, I know you are mentioning the legalities you know, in terms of uh, them being in the country, also the businesses and the products that they are selling. Um, what seems to be the major concern? Uh, what needs to change, you know, in order for, um, you know, to be trusted and considered safe. What do you think is the major problem? Because uh, this incident happened the very same time as last year. So something is amiss here. What is amiss is monitoring. Mm. Monitoring from your first citizen of the world, which is a councillor, monitoring. Because these are people who know, who have files for everyone in the world, mm. meaning if they follow up their work and knowing who is in the country, who, no, who is in, the, in their ward and doing what, that's monitoring. Mm. They will know, even the situa situational analysis of the shops yeah. is also improper. It's, it's, not, it's not right. Mm. You can't have six puzzle shops in one street and, and they are not even properly uh, structured. So as a, as, a, as, a, as a counselor and a father of the ward, because I call them fathers of the ward, they should know that. They, they don't need to react because now everybody's reacting. Mm. And last year it was the same thing. We went to the counselor and asked him for, for we, uh, people did a petition. We, I still have that petition saying we need them to go. What did he do after that? Mm. Does it need to come to our area also? That, 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 that's why I feel nobody's doing anything about it. After, after this, no one, no mm. one is saying anything, it doesn't matter. Let's talk about what happens now. I mean, um, what have the police done so far? And, you know, um, are you guys assisting uh, as a community, you know, 
assisting the police to deal with these issues and also what needs to happen besides the issue of them you know not wanting them in the community what is it that needs to happen moving forward what needs to happen moving forward we need to start from scratch let us come to, as remember last year we did call this uh, spaza shop owners for spaza we had a meeting with them and and the community that is where we wanted to say guys where do we what can be done to fix mm. this thing? What can be done to fix this thing? And then, you know, from their mouths, what they said, amongst themselves, some of them said, no, we agreed amongst ourselves that there'll be no other shop open. They're already making decisions mm. in our community without us, you see. And the fact that how did they get there? We wake up in the morning, they are there. So mm. let us start from scratch. How did they come into our community? first mm -hmm. let's start there and then what is supposed to be done regarding the issue of spaza shop as in the olden times we used to have spaza shops yeah. where are those spaza shops what can be done to restore those spaza shops that we bought from when we grew up but is the community agreeing that they should leave or you know the community the petition is is is, is, is saying it all mm. the petition no one can sign something that they don't agree on it might be a last year petition, but it still there has their signatures that mm. says we don't want these people. Because we want to exercise our economic casi right. Mm. And in that way, even if it's small, these people didn't come into an empty country. They came into a country where they were sure. Where did we buy before they came in? Mm. Where did we buy? I'm so angry. We're going to leave it there because we've ran out of time, but much appreciated. We hope that the issue will be resolved. I mean, we cannot be talking about the same thing every single year, but much appreciated for coming in. Thank you, Tabo. That was a Ms. Wongile and a lady community leader there joining us to speak more on the feeling on the ground within the community there in a lady following the six children who died in the community due to suspected food poisoning. We're going to park it there for now. So winter today returns on the other side of this. Do stay with us. Welcome back, you're still watching Soweto Today. Much appreciated for joining us uh, this evening. We are getting closer to the end of the show, but we continue the conversation on food poisoning, food safety and spaza shop. We now welcome the chairperson of the Houteng Spaza Shop and Landlord Forum, also known as Gashola, that's uh, Veli Kumalo, as we wrap up the conversation. Bab Kumalo, much appreciated for taking the time. Uh, welcome to the show. That's well. I, I'm going to go straight into the questions. Uh, you know, um, we, you were here last year. Uh, we spoke about this. And then, you know, you made a promise. I still remember when you said that you will deal with this issue of non-compliance when it comes to uh, Isn Tozama's Spaza shop. Yeah. Let's talk about it today. Have you made strides in dealing with these issues? Because we are here again. There's a situation of suspected food poisoning. Um, uh, where are we? One of the challenges is that I could say that I am a health inspector. 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 Mm. Yes, so, yeah. so what do they find when they get there? Because of, uh, I spoke to the Department of Health and, and they're saying that, look, um, we are not that many uh, because of uh, the population is a bit big. Mm. So um, we don't have enough inspectors. Uh, what is it that they find when they get there? I mean, you did your own inspections uh, as part of the organization and the Department of Health inspectors there. What is it that you find? Uh, is, is everyone complying? Because you told us that you have a list mm. of the shops uh, that are affiliated to you guys. Mm. Uh, what is the situation there? Uh, to be honest, I was told it is permanently in. It's mm. expired. I got a evening. What does it mean? I was going to do this operation. I was operation. I was going to do this operation. But in this Bulala, which he must have woo. 
Abas for me with seven sun in Nab, got goose over Lula with Master Seven Sun and Nab. So I tried with him and a seven sun in song, you see four arms made at a band to a bang a panty by my tax shop. Still as good as seven sun in Nan, but you were an eye. So if I have a funuk seven and nani, yeah. then what is it that you guys do? Because now you have a forum and the community is saying that these people must leave. That's what they're saying. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm just paraphrasing what yeah. Mam Spongile said. Uguti bafuno guti bahambi. So what is it uh, that you are doing as an organization to address this issue? Because now you are admitting to us that abafuno mm. uguti seven and nani. Sometimes I'm a health, not uh, not our clients. I'm a health, I'm a health inspectors. Yeah. Law enforcement. Sometimes no one be is a good as long as in sense in a meeting. Mm. Isn't they for Nagala? I would back comply about. Yeah. I'm a client date. Mm. So, but I mean, I have a copy. I want to make job a suction in Ganiganji. Will I was a touchy action call again? Mm. Uh, I understand. But in Yachabula, a uh, general say what 129 and not 50. Mm -hmm. Yeah, my, my inspectors and our head inspectors and I engaged and now since we are meeting now we busy with one camera owners which we find that our is now with the ins for their life. See, I want with to comply. Mm -hmm. So, Bob Kumar, you know, I'm I'm worried with what you're saying because now I'm asking myself why are we um, repeating ourselves yeah. with this is same situation that happened last year. Uh, you're talking about the issue of compliance yeah. and then how you engage with um, your, uh, you know, spaza shop owners, the, mm -hmm. the, the the foreign nationals who are owning spaza yes. shops in our various communities there. But uh, uh, it seems like what you're saying does not go through. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, they don't understand uh, what needs to happen. So I, I, I just want you maybe just to explain it to us. Uh, what is it that you're going to do when you leave from here as an organization? Because we don't want to sit here again and discuss the issue of six children that have died because of the same issues that happened last year. Yeah, action. We make sure we are pending the event. We are the event. We are not that is less than just cool man island. In Ghana, this is the food poisoning. Same month for it again October. And October again is a gala. But as long as I'm busy, I'm on investigation now. So nigga is cut with the he binds I'm on investigation now. Story report with the he. We got to get the we need to tell them I'm a police. Then to if we need crime intelligence. Yeah. I want big police. I'm a hawk. So back in bang in the pants. Because to be honest. To, yeah, see for Ramtin, I must see, see land the Latin. Mm. We find out with the Lamandu Baluti the foot, evidence by Tati, Joba Batlem with Utanier Lap. Yeah, but, but, but why person, did they do, why did they leave it until the second week before they can do the investigations? Yeah. Because I mean, you yeah. are working hand in hand with the health inspectorate yeah. to deal with these issues. Now the shops are looted, so we won't find answers. Do you know what happened last year? Do you have information? of what actually happened to those two children that died of suspected of, of food poisoning. Because uh, you had promised us that you will find out yeah, as an organization. Yeah, uh, last thing actually, we see uh, to the report, we are going to go to the lab, we are going to go Yeah. The report that we have to go to the bacteria, only three bacteria are to the lab. We are going to go to the lab. Yeah. But this time we hope with the subs is on Ganelaga because it's a serious matter. And you get slightly, you're not seeing for a maslalanga pants. That's why it's good. I'm a camomtana, old to wish here is all. A man is a woman interview, Gamma, my Kuma Maki Uti, Inganelia, Lama Kama Fandanga, so I take a man. It in Gane, my genu mamma, it to a mamma, in Tingi, Lama Zimba, Mopume Passichi, I say Passichi. What mm. to Pumaji Second Street, Gule David. Must be a passage, shop fell up. But it's not their shop there, Catanier, another foreigner, but the foreigner about him must be my put. I want to say community, because sometimes I cool me, Lamacama, and getting it put in Ghana, Amacama, Ukraine, Ukulumi, Ichelum, Mm. 
which one are you going to participate in? That's why it's we learn when we get the intelligence. Yeah, when we actually or my hawks, I catch my pants. Now, he stops when he gets plenty of sand. Which is totally is some blue that is sand. To see for them, action side. So we make sure we na na ba na ba thing. When we ba fund this, we we ba thing. We ba pay our money. We go and our program is so run for the community. As we. Okay, Bob Veluk Malo. Uh, unfortunately, we've ran out of time, but you know, um, uh, we will continue, you know, holding you guys to account, especially the ones that are actually making promises that you will deal with this issue. And we hope that we will find the answers that we need. As you're saying that, you know, there are allegations that the child has bought snacks somewhere yeah. else, uh, but we will look for that. Also, um, that, you know, get uh, an official word from uh, the police and the relevant structures there, but much appreciated for joining us. I just hope that, uh, you know, we do not come back here again and talk about the very same issues. But thank you again for coming in. There was uh, Bab Veli Kumalo, the chairperson of the Houteng Spaza Shop and Landlord Forum. They're sharing the organization's perspective and plans regarding the latest occurrence of uh, deaths as a result of suspected food poisoning in the lady community of uh, Soweto. On that note, uh, that's how we wrap up today's episode of Soweto Today. Remember, we love hearing from you. So please feel free to talk to us about this episode. Send us an email at SowetoToday at SowetoTV.co.za. We can call us, so WhatsApp us at 081-531-8857. Nakitabu Molokwane and the rest of the team. It's good night from us and thank you for watching. Stay tuned for the latest news updates coming up next with Preeti Nguenya. Bye-bye.